Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Comscolor. In this uh, lecture video, we are we will discuss about the case number three. That is how to file ITR two. So, देखिए पहले हम क्वेश्चन एक अच्छे से पढ़ लेते हैं and then we will discuss about how to file ITR in Excel utility. Name, father's name, everything is given to you. Then residency status that is R O R, and he was in India for seventy days during the Relevant previous year plus one thousand two hundred days during the last four years. Return to be filed. That is one thirty and four after due date. Then uh, basic information or all, all, all things are given to you. Now come to the financial aspect. Income from salary that is state to be given to that is pension, and uh, again uh, like uh, we don't have any information regarding which which kind of pension is because. Uh, We have two types of pension that is commuted pension and uncommuted pension. Uncommuted pension is always taxable in the hand of recipient, but in the case of commuted pension, we always uh, uh, calculate uh, the taxable amount in the hand of recipient uh, uh, fr from the uh, as per the provisions. But now, but you have not given, so we will assume that it is uh, the uh, uncommuted <coughs> pension. So that means the entire amount will be taxable in the hand of employee. Then coming to the section of the income from house property, that is the, uh, it is a uh, the nature of the house property that is self occupied, sorry, uh, let out. So let out is given to that is nine lakh forty thousand. Municipal tax paid by the owner that is seventy, so sorry thirty seven thousand. Income from other sources, interest on R E C bond, without T D S that is four lakh eight thousand. Interest on saving bank account that is ninety thousand seven fifty. <coughs> Deduction part that is PPF contribution paid in cash that is one thirty thousand. Class, uh, please don't uh, get confused with the that is the uh, contribution paid in cash. It is very similar to the saving bank account because uh, if any person basically contributing towards PPF, right? So it will automatically uh, it will automatically credited in the name of the SSC only, right? So the SSC will get uh, deduction maximum amount of is one fifty. But uh, he contributed only one thirty. Then NPS, which covered under section eighty CCD, that is seventy thousand. Then under section eighty D, uh, that is related to the medical insurance premium taken on the life of SSC and and his spouse, that is fifty two thousand. <coughs> Then donation to particular party paid by check sixty thousand, and uh, cash method allowed in here, so we will ignore this part. Then investment in national saving certificate. Eight issue date of investment is that is third of March two thousand twenty one. See students uh, just to look at this carefully. Date of investment that is third of March two thousand twenty one, which means that means the SSC made this investment in the previous year two thousand twenty twenty one, not in the relevant previous year two two twenty one twenty two. So that means uh, uh, the SSC basically made the in uh, made this investment uh, just uh, before the relevant previous year, right? So That means the S S C will get the interest on this particular amount. That is as per seven point nine percent per annum. So first of all, uh, there would be two effect in this case because uh, this is a part of interest. So, so all types of interest would be a part of income from other sources, right? And uh, he will also get the deduction under section eighty C as well. Then coming to the T D S part, uh, that the T D S. Directed by the employer, that is eleven lakh eighty thousand. Advance tax paid paid by the SSC. Then this is the um, it is regarding the assets and liabilities held by the SSC. Jewelry है, uh, self occupied, which uh, property भी है, shares भी है, cash in hand है, motor car है, and then as well as there is a liability of loan taken on the purchase car. All right. So this all these are the all the informations. So let's to start with the Excel utility part. So this is the first dashboard part. So salary yes we need. Household property yes. Capital gain no. So make it no. Then one one two eight that is related to LTCG on long term capital. LTCG on equity shares or mutual funds. So we don't have any information. So simply make it no. Then details of carry forward loss no. So make it no. 
80G regarding donation. We don't have such information. Again, make it now. Then uh, you always require to make this enable. That means whether the, the information is given to you, uh, so always make it yes. Okay. A rural development donations. We don't have information related to that. Again, this also make it no. Chapter 6 yes, we required. Then make it no. This part. 15JC, no. 115JD, no. Date of, uh, sorry, details of exempt, no. Then I always uh, tell usually to my all my students uh, to use this dashboard because it actually saves the time. Then uh, income from tax relief, no, we don't have any information regarding this. For NSA details, no. Portuguese Sailing Road, no. SS liability, yes. Advanced tax, yes. Then uh, no debt tax, no. That's it. Now apply, click on apply button and then move to the general information part sheet. So after applying sheet, see we now we have limited uh, tabs now like general part A, then regarding salary, house property, other sources, tariff of losses, uh, medical deductions then uh, assets and liabilities then related to the uh, uh, advanced tax then tts then part b tta that means the final tax liability details and then the verification so now we have limited tabs so it basically usually save the time so <clears throat> i always suggest students to use that sheet now coming to the part a general so let's uh, fill up all these details as per this. So I have uh, the VK Singhana Sir book. So I am simply copying from there. And uh, make sure students, uh, uh, whenever you are basically uh, practicing any type of cases, always note down the timings all right because you will be given maximum one hour to finish the practical part if you are taking exit one hour so that means you need a lot of practice to finish this as early as possible आप मेरा भी टाइम दे सकते हो कि मुझे एक एक क्वेश्चन करने में कितना टाइम लग रहा है, so that you will have idea. Then coming to this part that is one thirty and four after due date. Then the, the resident residential status of the individual that is a resident. So sometimes it's like it uh, take basically take a little bit time to 
CLE update uh, of the upcoming sheets. Then the condition that is, uh, he was basically leave for more than uh, 70 days, right? So I right think guys, uh, we need to select this second part and then make it known because we don't, uh, we are not following the new tax regime, the practical part. No. Yes, uh, the thing is like uh, we have also given some information regarding director no basically he is holding some unlisted shares of in this company so we need to fill these details this make it now no and uh, now you have to make it this yes because this time SSC holding unlisted shares in the domestic company so name of the company is given to you type of the company that is a domestic company number of shares in the opening balance see in this case we have given the opening balance that is 500 shares right cost of acquisition by this that is for like 3000 and there was no purchase or sale during the relevant previous year so that means the opening value and the closing value would be same so opening number of shares that is 500 shares cost of acquisition that is for like 15000 And uh, there was no additional shares or purchase during the relevant previous year. No, no, and this would be same. Five hundred. The amount would be same. Right. That's it. Now, this sheet is complete. Validate sheet is okay. And then go to the next part. That is. Uh, salary part <clears throat> others Now we have given only one permission regarding the salary that is the pension, right? So simply just select uh, uh, the other part and uh, just mention here that is pension. That's it and add out the amount that is 46,90,000.
that's it now in this case we don't have any information regarding allowances and prerequisites that's it validate sheet is okay and then go to next now fill the details regarding the house property self no co not co owned by the SSC nature of the property that is a let out and the name of the tenant is given to you that is a, uh, Naveen Motors And pen number also is given to you in this case. Gross amount paid by the SSE nine lakh forty thousand. Tax paid to local authority that is amounting rupees thirty seven thousand. That's it. So the taxable part in compromise that is six lakh thirty two thousand one hundred. That's it. Now validate the sheet. Sheet is okay. Move to next sheet regarding other sources. Now let's read the other information part. Interest on REC bond that is no TDS for lakh eighty thousand. Interest on REC bond that is uh, uh, yes we will write here that is a uh, four lakh eighty thousand interest on REC bond then interest on saving bank account that is ninety eight thousand seven fifty so we will write here ninety eight thousand seven fifty then that's it but yes uh, we have information regarding this that is uh, uh, interest on uh, national saving certificate that is uh, that would be part of uh, we'll take uh, uh, 7.9% of 12,000 that is 948 national saving certificate alright so we will add up this amount here alright so I am adding this here 948 948 that's it it includes in other interest so the taxable amount in the head of other sources that is five lakh seventy nine thousand six ninety eight very deep is okay go to next okay good set up very deep next ATD uh, the SSC basically paid uh, uh, in respect of the medical insurance premium of the, uh, the life of the SSC and the spouse uh, that is 52,000. First of all, we need to know whether the SSC is a uh, uh, senior citizen or not. See, the, as per the date of birth, uh, he actually he was born in 1941. So that is uh, 1940, according to 1940, that is uh, 59. Yes. He is basically crossing the age of 60 years so that means this person is a uh, senior citizen so yes and then uh, he actually made the payment amount in rupees 52,000 so we will type here that is 52,000 that's it and uh, as I see basically not claiming insurance for the parents so validate okay and next then after this uh, we will go to the 
chapter 6 a part so it is already adjusted that is it regarding dt so now coming to this part ppf that is 130 plus 948 regarding this so 130 130948 all right then and the ssc also contributed towards nps that is 70000 so what we do we do basically first we type 50000 here all right and then remaining 20000 we will type here all right so it will make it will basically adjust automatically uh, sorry 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 not here so first we will type 50000 here and remaining 20000 here Uh, it is not ticking the part here uh, yes students so dekhi yahan par aapka uh, he basically contributed a ppf in 1 like 30000 70000 in nps contribution see the question here is that is uh, 1 like 30000 to yahan par again the interest of nss certificate and uh, we have also taken this uh, uh, the NPS contribution that is 50,000 towards uh, 80, 80 CCD one way. If we type amount here that is 20,000, right, then it will not reflect any amount here. Why is it so? Because the thing is that we already know that the, the SSC is basically already retired, right, and uh, at the time of retirement. Uh, uh, the employee basically not contribute the employer employee uh, basically he was basically was uh, contributing towards NPS and maintaining the self account means in this case uh, there is no because uh, that is uh, there is no mutual contribution by the employer and the employee it is actually self contributed by the SSC so in this case 50,000 he got uh, full amount of duration but for remaining 20,000 he will not get so what we do is here so as per this we will basically type the full amount that is 70000 here that's it right i repeat this case mein jo person jo hai wo retire ho chuka hai so there was uh, no mutual contribution by the employer and the employee yahan par retire ho jo person retire ho gaya wo nps ka jo account hai wo khud hi isko regulate kar raha hai khud hi monitor kar raha hai theek hai to usko utna jitna jitna wo khud karega Utna usko milega, but maximum kita milega that is 50,000. Alright, then ATD ka to hoi gaya, and then coming to the ATTTB part that is here. So, yaha pa dekhe ab amount kita leko ge. Yaha pa question raha pa amount kita leko ge. If we coming to the other sources part, so uh, after the after crossing the age of 60 years, the SSC is entitled to get a reduction under section ATTTB of the saving bank account as well as the other deposits so he will get the deduction of uh, the saving bank account that is 98,750 and uh, this is the interest part right so he will get only this part that is 98,750 so we will write here that is in this case 98,750 in TTB and that's it now validated the sheet sheet is okay and then move to next part now this is regarding the assets and liability details so as per the questions uh, we have uh, movable asset immovable asset as well residential house
and then we will write here the cost part cost aapko jo amount given hai that is amounting rupees 478000 right then here yes, some jewelry given hai cost likhenge jewelry ki amounting rupees 25000 and jo given nahi hai usko zero likhenge vehicle some given is our motor car that is 11 lakh 55700 बैंक डिटेल्स गिवन नहीं है सो सिंपली टाइप जीरो शेयर्स हमें गिवन है अमाउंटिंग रुपीज एट्टी सिक्स लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड दैन इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी नो लोन एडवांस इज नो कैश इन हैंड दैट इज अमाउंटिंग रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी देन लोन दैट इज टू लैख सेट वेलीडेड शेट इज ओके next now simply write the bank details of the sasi and tick on this and then go down and uh, change it to no then very date shit is okay next advanced tax very date shit is okay next now this is uh, the sheet ready to be tds 10 of the employer taxable amount of salary that is forty six lakh forty thousand. And the TDS amount deducted by the ex employee that is amount of fees eleven lakh eighty thousand. That's it. and there is no tds amount so validate next come to this part verification self validate it is okay then coming back to part b calculate tax let's check out the answers in chargeable salary that is 46,40,000 income from hospitality 6,30,100 then uh, income from other sources 5,79,698 and then we have uh, the total income that is 55 lakh 70080 and uh, the final tax uh, liability pay by the that is uh, uh
सिक्सटीन लैक एट्टी थ्री थाउजेंड हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन राइट सो दिस इज द फाइनल दिस इज द केस नंबर थ्री स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वेरी वेल थैंक यू